Hey guys, what's up? Today I'll be doing an application overview or walkthrough of a new sort of application for Mac. It's still in beta on Mac, but it's been out on PC for quite some time now, probably about a year, but it is called Google Chrome. Now, if you don't know what Google Chrome is, it's just another web browser like Safari and Firefox here. Um, it's made by Google, and like I said before, it's still in beta on the Mac, but if you have a PC, you can download this for the full version or the release candidate. So when you open it up here, you see it's a very nice, clean interface, not too many buttons. It's just a real nice web browser. So um, to start off with the interface here, up here, you just have your regular Mac buttons, the close, minimize, and maximize buttons. Um, here is your where you type your web address. Um, here, this will take you to your home page, and here are all your bookmarks. I'll just launch Techno Buffalo right here, and you see up here it's the loading bar. It kind of looks like Vista um, when Vista loads. So this is a very text-rich site, so it'll take a little bit to load. I'll just go to YouTube right here because I don't want to take too long with this video. But anyways, so it's just a web browser, so you won't see any difference yet, really. But so there's YouTube. You can, um, if you want to clear your history like Firefox or Safari, you can simply go to Chrome and clear browsing data. Now this can clear all of your stuff on your web browser. You can delete cookies, have it on or off if you want to save a password or not. You can clear your history, which you would mainly want to do with the clear browsing data. You can empty your cache, and you can do all that good stuff. So um, that's just a real nice thing um, to clear your data, obviously. And another really cool thing that I like in um, Google Chrome is there's a thing called the incognito window. So I'll just launch this here. It's just a new window, so you still have your old op windows open. But here you, um, this is really nice if you're in a public place or if you're on your laptop or, well, yes, obviously laptop, not desktop. But if you're on your laptop in a public place using public Wi-Fi and you're doing online banking or such as that, um, it won't save your history or, um, or cookies or leave any traces of that or such. So um, that's nice. So. It basically just doesn't keep your history, even though you can't clear your history. So that's a real nice thing. So that's the incognito window on Google Chrome. So um, I'll show you this other really awesome thing that I think is really innovative on Google Chrome. If you close your tab right here, and I'll just go back up here. I'll close the incognito window, but I'll launch Google Chrome again. And well, you see my top sites are still here. But um, say I went somewhere where I don't use a lot since I've cleared all the history on this. Um, you can say you accidentally closed your last tab and it was really important and you didn't save the history. You can just simply go up to File and Reopen Close Tab or you can do Shift Control T. And here it'll open up YouTube right where I left off. It will not refresh anything because this is where I was. So. That's a really nice feature. You can um, open your close tabs if you accidentally close something, which I find really nice because a lot of times I will close um, a tab that I didn't mean to close, and it gets really frustrating if I accidentally clear my history or such. So that was just a real brief walkthrough or overview of this new application still in beta for the Mac, Google Chrome. So hope you enjoyed. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.